Hi, this is Colton from Agroponics here, and we're going to be looking at how to set up a vertical hydroponic system in your backyard using the Agro Tower, a vertical growing tower our company makes here in the USA that can be used for aquaponics, hydroponics, or aeroponics systems. We've made this video because our mission is to support better methods for local-based approaches to food production. We want to show you how quickly and affordably a scalable system can be set up using just a small amount of space. After giving a presentation to Harding University students about vertical farming, we took a group and made plans to build a system for the university to keep. Based on budget and size constraints, we decided to build a hydroponic system with eight vertical grow towers. Each tower has 20 growing spaces, so the system will be able to produce up to 160 plants at one time. Thanks to vertical farming, we'll be able to produce 160 plants within this small greenhouse structure you see here. When done properly, plants grown in a hydroponic system can be harvested in as little as four to six weeks. In addition to the grow towers and the greenhouse, we built a wood frame which goes inside the greenhouse and serves two main purposes. One is to hang the towers from the top of the frame, and two is to build a reservoir at the bottom of the frame to hold water. We built the dimensions of the frame so that it would be tall enough to hang the towers from, but not too tall so that the structure would fit inside our greenhouse. We also built the frame to be long and wide enough to allow at least 20 inches of space between each grow tower. This is so that when our plants are more mature, they don't block each other from growing or getting enough sunlight. We ordered a small greenhouse measuring 15 by 7 by 7 feet for just over 100 bucks. Greenhouses add many advantages to your outdoor hydroponic system, even if they aren't fully insulated. They trap moisture inside to protect from wind and heavy downpours, help keep bugs out, and can help give you more control over the amount of direct sunlight your plants receive. If your greenhouse is built of light materials, just be sure to stake it down so that it doesn't blow away on a windy day. To hang the vertical towers on our frame, we drilled two holes in the top of the towers and bent a metal wire so that it fit through the holes and created a handle. Next, we moved the frame inside of the greenhouse and started setting up our plumbing system to water the plants. In our system, we used the Active Aqua 550 submersible water pump to carry the water up through the drip lines to each of our towers. The water travels from the water reservoir to the top of the frame, drips down the towers, and back into the reservoir. The reservoir was built to hold about 85 gallons of water. We covered the lower portion of the frame with pond liner we purchased from Amazon. We cut, stapled, and sealed the sides of the pond liner to the frame so that the water wouldn't leak out. And then we had a little too much fun filling up the reservoir with water. Eventually, you'll need to drain the reservoir to replace the water and nutrient solution. To accomplish this, we cut a separate tubing that we could thread onto the pump so that we could use the pump itself to carry water from the tank. Next, we measured and punched eight holes in the drip line, one for each tower. Then, we attached emitters that would drip the water onto our vertical towers from the top. These emitters are adjustable to change the flow rate of the water. And once the water was dripping at a steady, consistent rate from the tubing, we hung the towers to the frame using the hooks that we made. Once all of the towers were hung, we inserted the two inch net pots into each of the growing spaces. Each tower was spot checked to make sure that the drip was lined up with the first net pot at the top of the tower. This way, as the water drips down, it won't miss any plants as it makes its way back into the water reservoir. When the system was complete, we transplanted our lettuce seedlings to the towers that we had already germinated and our students explained the project to the rest of the class. Adding nutrients to the water reservoir, monitoring pH levels, and germinating seeds were all taught as part of this class. And these are important topics that you need to have a basic understanding of before you build your own hydroponic system. When done correctly, you can expect healthy full-size lettuce in as little as four to six weeks. We want to thank you for watching this video from Agroponics about setting up a small vertical farming system. You can learn more about our company and vertical farming by visiting our website at agroponics.com. Also note that this system is scalable. We could easily expand the system to fit twice as many towers into the same size greenhouse. With vertical farming, we can grow more food with significantly less space, helping feed the world and leaving a smaller environmental footprint while we do it. And don't forget, please send us pictures through Facebook or email when you set up your own vertical hydroponics or aquaponics systems at home.